So this is the first video that I'm going to make. Uh, today we are going to talk about nitric acid. So, <clears throat> so nitric acid is a very common drug and it's a must to know for every new person into homeopathy. So the nitric acid is actually linked with almost every single problem a human can have. So let's start with the head. Um, at the head, the nitric acid patient will have pains over her temple, over the temple and over this region. And uh, you must remember that the pain that nitric acid feels are like pricking pains, like uh, like like a stick that has been stuck, you know. And this pain is very particular because the pain can come suddenly and go suddenly. Every pain that nitric acid has has the same peculiarity about. Uh, a pricking like sensation and the pain will come and they will go so let's start with the head so there are in the head there is a headache and pains are over here the temple and over here and what the person feels is also vertigo vertigo is felt because the person is weak uh, weak due to food or due to diet or because the person is very um, but frustrated about his life, he is continuously talking about uh, not talking. In the nitric acid patient will be very silent. They will be very irritable. They have very problems, and they don't really share much. So that all would be connected inside him. So what happens is that due to thinking about his past life, about the things he did wrong, or something like that, he will continuously have problems due to which. The patient won't be able to sleep nicely and will have weakness. Uh, he can't even eat well because whenever the person eats, he will feel nausea and many times the person also vomits. So what happens is that, okay, where was I? I was at the head <laughs> weakness, uh, wait, where, where, uh, vertigo, sorry, vertigo is because of weakness. Weakness and vertigo are very interlinked and uh, it's very normal to have work. if the person uh, suffers vertigo then the person will have weakness and if the person have weakness there is a sure chance that the person feels vertigo and you know nausea and vomitings are all here and let's come down uh, let's leave the head and let's come to eyes so what happens is that the nitric acid patient will be very uh, have problem with like slight of eyes and what happens is that the hemorrhage can happen. Uh, you must know that uh, there is, you know, bleeding at the eye, and what you can see is just redness over the eye. That's eye. And let's come to nose. When you come to the nose, you will find that the person, because this is mucus area, so nitric acid is a very good remedy for, you know, uh, what what do you call it? Uh, problems at the mucus areas so what happens is that the person from this uh, nitric acid patient will have uh, you know mucus uh, I don't even know what they call it I'm not very comfortable with English language so I hope you guys don't mind mm. discharges will be greeny uh, mucus discharges will be greeny and these are very wild during the mornings and just keep that and let's come below let's come to the mouth uh, when you come to the mouth, you will find ulcer. Yeah, that's what. Nitric acid is a very good remedy for ulcer patients. So what happens is that when you come to the mouth, you'll notice that the person who, who is a nitric uh, acid per, uh, patient, the nitric acid patient will have clean tongue, clean tongue, but have you know a putrid breath, and the breath would be kind of uh, bad. And what happens is that the ulceration will be almost like covered up at the mouth and just keep that in mind that the tooth of the nitric acid patient will be loose. The gums can bleed easily. Oh, I totally forgot to remind you that nitric acid patient bleeds easily. Uh, let's take for the wars. Uh, when the person have wars, the like slight touch can... Uh, Okay. Program, proclaim, pro. Ah. Slight touch can 
exaggerate bleeding always came even the piles when you come to the anus the piles can be very uh, painful and it would bleed easily uh, nitric acid patient can bleed easily always keep that in mind and nitric acid patients are very irritable always keep that in mind and where was I? I was at the mouth yeah the gums, gums bleed easily the tooth are loose and the ulceration covers the whole mouth and always remember the pain pain will be prickly you know like uh, stick stuck you know the pain will come and go and it will be like uh, what it called this uh, stick pricking stick something like sensation it, it is getting pricked by a stick uh, or like pin or something like that always keep that in mind let's come down uh, let's leave the mouth and come down throat throat when you come to the throat always remember that the uh, nitric acid patient or you can re recommend nitric acid to the patient who has uh, throat affection the thing you can notice are you know similar to everything else uh, their stone seal can be affected it can be swollen redness can be seen and and a piss bone character when the person eats or drinks the person will have very um, problem it will uh, aggravate the things and these are actually very common and you can just calculate it with other symptoms of uh, nitric acid like urine and stuff like that so oh, I forgot to told, tell you that oh, I haven't reached the urinary let's talk about urine when you come to the urine you will notice that uh, the nitric acid patient will have a very bad smelling urine the smell, smell of the urine will be very bad um, the color of the urine will be like uh, brownish uh, dark colored it will be scanty and the stool of the nitric acid patient are also very bad smelling so keep that in mind um, when you come to the stool let's talk about the pack that happens uh, the nitric acid pants will uh, have uh, diarrhea and dysentery diarrhea and dysentery are similar <laughs> okay and constipation and uh, I, I guess that's it so what happens is that the person will have dysentery uh, I mean diarrhea and constipation uh, when there is a diarrhea you can you, the diarrhea will feel like it's it is being it is like constipation diarrhea is like constipation like person is trying to do the you know the process and he is unable to you know pass the stool he will continuously have a problem about how to you know give support to yourself by you know taking the stool but he will unable to do that and um, that's the stool will be like the same as the diarrhea but still like diarrhea he won't be able to you know do stool properly and it will be very problematic this type of characters will uh, exaggerate his personality which is very irritable and angry and violent this character will increase as these conditions appear because these are affecting the mind of the patient so let's come as I was in throat let's come to the lungs and the respiratory tract and like when you come there you will notice that the person who is a, uh, like nitric acid patient will have problem uh, in respiration and there are mucus which are you know covering the lungs which will provide you know you a clue to know that it is a nitric acid patient the clue is that the mucus will totally jam the body and it won't be like the one that you hear in cancerous patients like those who smoke you won't it's totally different it will be like you know some will be like like trigger but it will be totally different the person will have complaints about how hard it is to you know um, breathe because the person who is suffering from this type of condition won't be able to you know uh, lie down in a bed and be you know be able to do things properly something like that so let's go down when you come here down you will go to uh, not stomach you will go to liver the person who is, uh, who is is a nitric acid patient will have lots of liver affection because of the diet 
because of the uh, allergy uh, the person who because the person also suffers from skin problems the because of allergens uh, the person also has liver affection and jaundice can be easily affect the nitric acid patient always keep that in mind <coughs> and except for the liver you go to the stomach and where you go to stomach the person is unable to digest food properly so whenever the per nitric acid patient eats the food he will directly feel nausea and many times the patient might even vomit uh, the digestion is very weak in nitric acid patient so keep that in mind and when you come down you will go to urinary system that I have already told you the person who suffers from uh, who is a nitric acid patient will have urine which is very bad and the smell is very bad and the color of the urine can be brown due to blood in urine there is a word for that it is called hematuria and the reason for hematuria can be many things like there can be a passion at the uterus you know oh sorry urethra i'm sorry urethra there can be you know ulcer at the urethra uh, the person who is a nitric acid patient can have ulcer at many parts like also when you come to the liver no not the liver like stomach there can be ulcer mouth you know, nose or like you know throat i don't know anywhere can skins everywhere ulcer can happen and where was that uh, urethra, yeah, urethra. Because of the urethra ulcer at the urethra, the person can have hematuria. Also, remember that the nitric acid can be given to the patient who is suffering from uh, proteinous albuminous urine. Ure what was the word? Albuminous urea. I guess that's the word. That's when you find protein in urine. Also remember in that and when you come down here you will go to the back and that's anus when you go to there there you will find that the person who suffers from constipation uh, diarrhea which is like constipation the person is very irritable so what happens is that he tries very hard but very small amount of urine comes out uh, I mean the stool comes out and what happens is that after the urine uh, stool happens the person will have burning sensation over the anus the person will have to totally have problem with doing this the uh, it's as written in the book the person can have hours of hours of burning sensation burning sensation as if one 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 mama mama yeah, mama you know Burning sensation as if the uh, the person who suffers from constipation and I mean diarrhea. So what happens is that the person feels totally like. You know, So the person will have feeling as if the anus has been cut, you know, there is a feeling as if the, there is a cutting sensation, pieces like that. The person will have burning sensation, they, they will have pain and it will last uh, one hour or more after this too will happen after going to the bathroom. You know. That's written in the book. I haven't really got into this kind of situation. Uh, there, there's an example about the nitric acid patient. So the person was, you know, very um, different. The doctor was my my doctor, my, the teacher who teaches me. So what happened is that the, he was having trouble because the patient told him that he was interested in eating earth. The patient was just like smelling the earth after the rain, and he wanted to eat the earth. So. So the but there are many 
type of drugs for the first year patient like this who wants to eat uh, there are many uh, medicines so the doctor got confused and what happened is well, okay I forgot <laughs> I totally forgot well, how he knew it was nitric acid uh, okay leave that <coughs> let's come to the uh, diet like person uh, who is a, nit a nitric acid patient will have trouble eating with have will have aversion eating um, bread egg um, bread egg um, bread egg and what was that? and there are many things you can study that in the book so what happens is that um, The nitric acid patient will like to eat, uh, would want to eat uh, charcoal, chalk, the things which are undigestible for many pe people. They would like to eat charcoal, uh, chalk, earth, and many other things, pads, you know, something like that. And peculiarity about nitric acid patient are like they will have ulcer, they will have. Um, pricking sensation, pains like pricking sensation which will come and go suddenly always keep that in mind um, nitric acid patient will have bone affections uh, like weakness due to weakness and old age maybe the long bones uh, these are the long bones, these uh, are the long bones so uh, the joints over here here are always at the margin of trouble and, uh, he will feel like these are very weakened and it will be very hard to move around the same goes with uh, you know feelings and and what are the other things about nitric acid that i don't recall you know these are all just stops these are all just stops. you know how can i as a doctor i ask my patient that how is your stool how how does your urine smells you know these are something that will you learn through your practi practice, you know. You will have to interact with people and things will change. You will know how to question them. Like many people, like there's a written in ordinal medicine that you should not do yes or no questions, but I do it. <laughs> that's me, that's my way of being a doctor. And I hope you guys find your own. Books are just books. To me, I'm trying to tell you how this thing can get easier. I hope you guys never forget it and never rely on book, never rely on doctors who just recommend medicine after hearing one symptoms that are just, they are not even doctors, man. They are similar to elephants. So, okay, have a nice day. And that's it.